Imagine a world where air travel is booming, airports are overcrowded, and airlines desperately need a solution to move more passengers per flight. What if the answer isn't in smaller, more efficient planes, but in bringing back the largest passenger aircraft ever built? The Airbus A380 was a game changer, a true marvel of engineering, yet it was abandoned far too soon. But now, there's a growing debate. Should Airbus bring it back as the A380neo? Could new technology make this superjumbo viable again? Or is the era of giant aircraft truly over? Let's dive deep into the rise, fall, and possible future of the world's most iconic plane. The Airbus A380 first took flight in 2007, designed to be the ultimate long-haul aircraft. With the ability to carry over 800 passengers in an all-economy configuration, it was a symbol of innovation, luxury, and efficiency, at least on paper. Airlines like Emirates, Singapore Airlines, and British Airways capitalized on its size, offering spacious cabins, first-class suites, onboard bars, and even showers. It was the flagship of international travel, built for a world where major hub airports like Heathrow, JFK, and Dubai were the future. But despite all its grandeur, the A380 had a fatal flaw. It was too big for its own good. Airlines quickly realized that more passengers didn't always mean more profit. The aircraft's four-engine design made it incredibly expensive to operate, and as fuel prices soared, airlines began looking for alternatives. Smaller, twin-engine aircraft like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350 offered similar range but with significantly lower costs. The rise of point-to-point -point travel also changed the game. Instead of routing passengers through massive hub airports, airlines began favoring smaller aircraft that could fly directly between cities. This flexibility made the A380 increasingly impractical, leading to dwindling orders. Then came the ultimate blow, the COVID-19 pandemic. As international travel collapsed, airlines grounded their A380 fleets, some permanently. By 2019, Airbus announced that production would end, and in 2021, the final A380 was delivered to Emirates, marking the end of an ambitious but ultimately unprofitable era. But is it really over? Some, like Emirates President Sir Tim Clark, believe that with the right upgrades, the A380 could still have a future. Enter the concept of the A380neo, a next-generation version of the Super Jumbo, designed to fix the very issues that doomed the original. So, what would an A380neo look like? The most significant upgrade would be its engines. The current A380 is powered by outdated Rolls-Royce Trent 900 and Engine Alliance GP7200 engines, both of which are far less fuel efficient than modern alternatives. A re-engineered A380neo could feature Rolls-Royce's UltraFan technology, which promises up to 25% better fuel efficiency. That alone could drastically reduce operating costs and make the aircraft far more attractive to airlines. But the improvements wouldn't stop there. The A380neo could also incorporate lighter composite materials, similar to those used in the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787, reducing weight and further improving efficiency. Aerodynamic enhancements, such as redesigned winglets or even folding wingtips like the Boeing 777X, could boost performance even further. And with the aviation industry moving towards sustainability, there's even speculation that an A380 new engine could be adapted for hybrid or hydrogen-powered engines in the future. But here's where the A380neo might have a real edge. Airport congestion. Many of the world's biggest airports are running out of space. Heathrow, JFK, and Singapore Changi all struggle with limited slots, and airlines need ways to move more passengers per flight. 
instead of scheduling multiple smaller aircraft, the A380neo could carry the same number of passengers more efficiently. Sounds like a perfect solution, right? Well, not so fast. The biggest question is, would airlines actually buy it? One of the key reasons the original A380 failed was that too few airlines committed to it. Airbus had hoped to sell over 1,200 units, but in reality, only 251 were ever built. Even airlines that initially embraced the A380, like Lufthansa, Air France, and Qantas, eventually struggled to operate it profitably. And while Emirates is eager for an A380neo, one airline alone isn't enough to justify restarting production. The broader trend in aviation today is all about flexibility. Airlines prefer twin-engine jets that can serve multiple types of routes, rather than being locked into a specific hub-and-spoke model. Aircraft like the Boeing 777X, Airbus A350-1000, and even the A321XLR offer long range with better fuel efficiency, making the case for an A380neo even harder to justify. Then there's the financial risk. Developing a new aircraft isn't cheap, and an A380neo would require billions in investment. Would Airbus really take that gamble when the market is shifting away from large aircraft? Right now, the answer seems to be no. But the story isn't over just yet. Some airlines have actually brought the A380 back into service due to rising passenger demand. British Airways, Qatar Airways and Lufthansa have all reactivated parts of their A380 fleets, proving that in some markets, the need for high-capacity travel still exists. So, will Airbus build the A380 new engine option? As of now, the chances seem slim. The industry has evolved, and the market for super jumbos remains small. But if technology advances and global air travel continues to grow, the A380neo might not be completely out of the question. Airbus could revisit the idea in the 2030s, when the aviation landscape might look very different. So, what do you think? Should Airbus take the risk and bring back the A380neo? Or is the era of super jumbos truly over? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into aviation's most fascinating aircraft, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more aviation content. See you in the next one.